Uh, how many of you here present are looking for a new and an, a new and inexpensive hobby uh, for the coming summer break? As the colder season, you know, begins to slowly but surely turn into warmer temperatures, most of us here are looking to exchange our heavy coats and boots with the fur with <laughs> t-shirts and shorts. Most of us here already have activities, you know, planned that we enjoy we enjoy doing, you know, during the summer. Uh, for example, you know, running, all of running sports, you know. And even a simple walk, you know, to the park can be satisfying. <sighs> However, there is a sport, this golf hoop, that is, you know, becoming very popular, you know, uh, in the past year, past years. I started playing disc golf, you know, my senior year in high school. And um, although, you know, the first experience was discouraging, I continued playing and started to notice a lot of improvement. With, a lot, with help with uh, tutoring from some friends and you know watching YouTube videos, combined with you know a lot of practice, I began to notice you know that I was getting good. And uh, ever since you know I've, I've enjoyed you know playing it you know during my summer breaks you know and like occasionally you know during the colder colder season because I mean it's pretty pretty addicting quickly, especially when you start noticing improvement. Throughout the speech, I'm going to inform you a little bit about the history the origins of uh, disc golf, where it originated, and I'm also gonna tell you about the different equipment that is used, inexpensive, by the way. Um, and you know, some of my favorite parks around Wichita area and cities, you know, just around here. <coughs> disc golf is known, disc golf as it is known today, was, a, was started by a man named, known as Steady Ed Frederick. According to the Disc Golf Association website, Hendrick established many disc golf championships and tournaments. For example, he formed International Frisbee Association, the Junior Frisbee Championship, and organized World Frisbee, Ch World Frisbee Championship. In 1975, Ed, in order you know, to uh, promote the new sport and uh, <coughs> install, have, have like uh, cities install the disc golf courses he established the DGA, which is, you know, Disc Golf Association. Uh, 1974, as, as the sport began to flourish, Ed and his brother uh, installed the first frisk first frisk pole hole, which basically is the metal baskets you guys see, you know, in parks, you know, with chains and that, that serves as, you know, the target, you know, you want to aim for. Uh, before the DGA was formed, uh, the few committed uh, disc, disc golf players would use um, trash cans, uh, water fountains, you know, as reference points, you know, and so that's how it started. So a very, very humble beginning. Um, to play the sport, all you need, you know, is like disc, of course, but it's not just like any, you know, typical frisbee you would you would use to play. Um, there's if there's only three three kinds of discs, you know, that uh, all you really need is to you know start. The first is the driver, which is um, typically uh, launch first at full force. Um, I mean, it's recommended to use it, you know, when you from the launch pad. However, you know, like a lot of people use the uh, mid range, which is a little bit heavier and is susceptible to wind. Uh, which uh, for beginners is recommended to, um, you know, increase you know the level of weight uh, of heaviness on it. And lastly, we got the uh, putter, which is obviously you know, used whenever you know you're ready to, you know, uh, aim at the target. And uh, it is heavier than the rest, but I mean, um, yeah, I mean that's uh, basically that's it. But um, for the most part, you know, most holes around here are about are part three, so it means you know you got three opportunities to uh, uh, make the make it to the target, you know, without without you know going over and just staying even. <laughs> Lastly, I'm gonna inform you about the parks, you know, that I enjoy playing and that are you know are here in Wichita. There's a total of 77 parks in the whole state of Kansas, and four of them are located here. Oak Park and uh, Herman Hill Park are, you know, very popular uh, areas, you know, to uh, practice the sport. Um, 
both of them have a total of, a total of 18 challenging holes to you know for to, to play in, and um, I personally prefer to play at, at Oak Park. One of my favorite disc golf courses, you know, located around here, is like an hour north of here in Emporia, Kansas. It's uh, in Jones Park. It has um, it has two disc disc golf courses in it, and um, it's one of my favorite disc golf courses because. I mean, like during the spring, it's just like the lush, green um, foliage, you know, causes, you know, inspiration, you know, with just like the color and it has several ponds. So, I mean, it's like, it's actually, you know, used to host the glass blown disc golf tournament, which I mean, can be, it's an awesome experience too. I mean, for, those, for people, you know, who are beginning and just want to learn from experts, you know, you can definitely learn from just watching. In conclusion, this call, as it is known today, was established by Ed, Pendrick, Ed Frederick, who established the DGA. The sport is practiced, you know, with a combination of disc, drivers, mid-range, and putters. And the sport can be played, you know, by people of all ages uh, in parks in Wichita and cities nearby. Thank you. All right, Greg is not here. How about Lane? And Lane?